the Mick release. Blah, blah, blah. You can do this. Check it. Damn, that's cool. Are you ready? It's time to learn how to finally unlock one of the coolest jump rope tricks around. First things first. Make sure your rope has strong handles. The handles on this rope are remarkably durable and perfect for learning the mic release. I'll post a link to it in the description below. The length of your rope affects the physics of this trick. With one foot on the rope, I can pull my handles just above my belly button. The shorter the rope is, the less effort it will require to perform the trick. Experiment with different rope lengths to find what's comfortable for you. Next, let's learn a rhythmic primer to prepare our wrists for this trick. Using single arm side swings, perform the rhythm one, two, three, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a one. Two, keep it going. Notice the triplet does not touch the ground. This is super important. Don't touch the ground. So how is this applied? Check out the rhythmic carryover from single arm side swings to the mic release. Uh, money. All right, let's dig into this. Practice placing the handle on your wrist so it balances on top. You don't want too much hanging off the edge unless you enjoy having a terrible time. You gotta find the right balance. With the entire rope on one arm, tune into the weight at the apex of the arc. Awareness of that focal point will greatly improve your efficiency of the motion once we start spinning that rope against gravity. When we swing with two hands, the rope has an even 50-50 weight distribution. However, when we perform the mic release, one hand is responsible for maintaining the momentum of the full weight of the rope. This is why we must generate more velocity in order to maintain momentum of that apex against gravity, hence the triplet pulse. Whisk the apex in a clockwise direction in order to maximize efficiency in the wrists. Back finger engagement here is key, my friends. Here we go. Check out this whisk. Yeah. It's like we're whisking a big bowl of scrambled eggs. And a catch. There we go. Let's get one more for the homies. The whisk and catch. Aim high with your releases so the rope doesn't clip the ground and disrupt the momentum. Like this, check it out. Ooh, so high. Keep your eye on the handle if you want to catch the handle. It's tough to follow at first, but if you focus, you'll start getting it. And if you catch the handle twice in a row, consider yourself a wizard. Most of the time, you'll likely end up catching the rope. If that's the case, go on and slide up to that handle and pretend that's where you caught it. I won't tell. I was touched by an angel for this first rep and actually caught the handle. But this next rep, mm, different story. Caught the rope and then snuck my way up to the handle pretending it didn't happen. It's all about that recovery. When you start practicing, expect it to feel like this looks. Awkward and uncomfortable. Like my 14 year old band photo. You'll probably hit yourself a few times, but just suck it up and move on. It's going to feel like this for a while. Whatever you do, please don't rage quit because you can't get it today. Because that moment it finally starts to click is priceless. You just gotta keep showing up. That is the hardest part. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please show it some love to support this channel. I don't know what I'm pointing at here, but thank you so much for tuning in, my friends. Take care.